One of the most important and influential families in BC history, the Dunsmuirs, were not immune to scandal. In the early 1900s, big crowds followed a series of court cases involving alcohol abuse, inappropriate behavior, and a Broadway star looking for a piece of the Dunsmuir fortune. As Stacey Ross tells us, the judge's decision was released 109 years ago, this week in history. It was a sensational series of court cases involving one of British Columbia's most famous families. At the time, you could, you could equate this to a celebrity scandal. At issue was the fortune of Robert Dunsmuir. Craig Derrick Castle, coal mines, shipping, his holdings were significant. And when he died in 1889, he left it all to his wife, Joan. He apparently wrote a will out to his sons, but then didn't sign it. Left out of the will, Robert's sons, James and Alex, spent about $3 million buying back the family properties from their mother. The final uh, installment that they paid their mother for the Wellington collieries of $410,000. With his financial future secure, Alex made the scandalous decision to marry an American divorcee. Alexander had actually a relationship with Josephine Wallace for about 20 years in secret. There was that sense, especially between Alexander, um, that mother and father would not approve of this relationship and this union. When Alexander died, Josephine's daughter, Broadway performer Edna Wallace Hopper, sued James for a portion of the estate. The case opened. Uh, in November 1903, the Victoria session, and Joan didn't intervene until uh, the end of the first week of December. Yes, Joan Dunsmuir did join the case on Edna's side. And the risk for Joan was that her daughters would not receive any kind of compensation or support from Alexander's estate. If Edna was to win the case, she had a fairly strong case against Edna, and so could bring it back into the court and win. The court cases and appeals stretched on for years. James ended up winning everything all the way up to the Privy Council of London who decided that uh, none of the appeals were granted and everything ended up going to James. Edna was left bankrupt. As for the Dunsmuirs, James's position as Premier and then Lieutenant Governor was secure, but the family itself never really recovered from the feud. Joan died in 1909 and uh, the rumor is that uh, James attended her funeral um, in his full Lieutenant Governor regalia as a very formal um, occasion and then broke down because they'd never reconciled before her death. The decision handed down in 1906, This Week in History. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.